Hello everyone. Today is the day that we find out which Fallout NPC reigns king overall. So as you see here, we have eight brackets, two per bracket, and I know you might see some of the NPCs in these brackets and think, wow, that's greatly outmatched. But I randomized the seed about a hundred times. So this is completely random. So now that we got that out of the way, our first bracket, we're going to have a great con facing a powder ganger. And the second bracket, we're going to have a white glove versus a chairman bodyguard. The third bracket, a viper versus a fallout three raider. And the reason I make that distinction is because I don't want to have to spawn a raider and then you guys say, Oh, that's a fiend. Like, no, there's a difference between a follow through raider and a fiend. I know most of you probably know that, but I just want to make the distinction. So anyway, on the fourth bracket, we have the escaped convict versus the fiend. On the fifth bracket, we have the legion recruit versus the omerta thug. Number six, we have the Jackal versus the Scorpion Gang member. If you guys remember that from another video. Um, on the seventh bracket, we have King's Gang member versus the Talon Company Merc. And on our final bracket, we have a Brotherhood of Steel Scribe versus a NCR Trooper. So what's gonna happen is, as you can see here, we're gonna have best of three. Basically, it's just gonna be three rounds. And if one of the NPCs win two to three rounds, then there's no need to even do the third round because we obviously know who won. And it's gonna be like that all the way up into the semifinals. Now on the finals, I thought we might as well give whatever two NPCs are in the finals a chance and let them have five rounds. I almost forgot to add, when I do these uh, tournament battles, the way I'm going to do it is spawn the NPC, so say if I spawn a Great Khan here and he spawns with a different weapon than what he normally spawns with, we're just going to roll with it because when you spawn an NPC in Fallout, there's a chance they just get a random gun, there's no really set pattern, so if you spawn a Fiend, there's a chance he could have a laser weapon, he could have a varmint rifle, he could have anything really. So. Whatever he spawns with is just how it's going to play out. So let's make our way into Fallout and see how this tournament goes. Alright, so here we are in our arena. Nothing too fancy. And our first match is going to be the Powder Gamer versus the Great Khan. So the Great Cons will be moving on into round two. Now our next battle is going to be a White Glove versus a Chairman Bodyguard. Okay, and here we go for round one. So the white gloves will be moving on to the next round and when we go to round two it'll be the great cons versus the white gloves in this round we have the fallout 3 raider sporting a 10 millimeter versus the viper gunslinger with a 9 millimeter submachine gun let's get into it
Just like that, the Fallout 3 Raider pulls it through, making it into round 2. And this round, we have the Fiend versus the Escaped Convict. Surprisingly close match, but the convicts move on to the next round. Next up, we got the Legion recruit facing off against the Omerta thug. got the legion recruit moving on to the round two we got the jackal versus the scorpion gang member The Scorpion gang members stomp the Jackals and are going on to round 2 to face the Legion recruit. This round, we got the Talon Company Merc versus the King's gang member. Honestly, I could have just told you this was going to happen, but the talent company is moving on to round two. Next, we got the BOS Scribe versus the NCR Trooper. Alright, so for our final battle in the first round, the NCR Trooper makes it to round 2. So now our round 2 brackets are the Grey Cons versus the White Gloves, the Fallout 3 Raider versus the Escaped Con, a Legion Recruit versus the Scorpions, and a Talon Company Mercenary versus the NCR Trooper. Let's get into it. Alright, here is our new arena for round two. And to start off our first battle in round two, we have the White Glove versus the Great Khan.
literally cannot believe I'm saying this, but the White Gloves are moving on to the semi-finals. Our next battle in round 2, we got the Escaped Convict facing off against the Fallout 3 Raider. Cape Convict moves on to the semi-finals to face off against the White Glove. Alrighty, next up, we've got the Scorpion Gang member facing off against the Legion Recruit. Legion Recruit beats out the Scorpion and moves on to the semi-finals. For our final round of round two, we have the Talon Company Mercenary facing off against the NCR Trooper. Talent Company Mercenary moves on to the semifinals to face off against the Legion Recruit. Alright, everyone, the semifinals, the arena is at Searchlight Airport, and the first round will be the White Glove versus the Escaped Convict. Let's do it. literally cannot believe that I'm saying this, but we have a white glove that made it all the way from a chairman bodyguard, made it through a great con, and an escaped convict to make it to the finals. Impressive. Alrighty, for our last semi-final round, we have the Legion Recruit facing off against the Talon Company Mercenary. Let's get it. And moving on, the Talon Company Merc crushes the Legion Recruit 
and makes it on to the finals versus the White Glove. And I'm going to be honest, I want to say this is going to be a one-sided fight, but what I've seen so far, the White Glove has been demolishing people. So, it could be, it could be a good fight. Let's just see. I'm sorry, I prefer to converse with interesting people. Well now, if it isn't the little saint from the vault, we've been looking for you. Someone's put quite a price on your head. Here's where it all began, folks. The sacked caravan. This place looks familiar. You know, you know. And for our finals, we have the white glove member going against the notorious company mercenary the rules for this final fight it's gonna be five rounds max that i could go but if one of them win three it's game over i think it's time to see who's going to win the npc tournament Much as it pains me to say it, the White Glove failed. Our reigning champion of the NPC tournament is the Talon Company Merc. I told you I could have seen it coming, but that White Glove was putting up one hell of a fight. And I kind of wanted him to win, I'm not going to lie. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more of these, I can do another one where we have named NPCs. That could be fun. If you want to see something like that, comment it below, and I'll definitely see about doing it. Alright guys, appreciate you for watching. Have a good one.